Hello and welcome to this video which is going to be uh, immersive engineering power generation and not including the water wheel. Um, yeah, the water wheel is always a little bit because it's reliant on fluid dynamics and stuff like that. It never really works quite how you want it. Um, so the first type of power we have here is the thermoelectric generator. Um, you can see I've got a couple of situations here. One of them, this one's got packed ice with lava and it doing the uh, gradient differential thing. That gives you 16 RF tick. And then with packed ice and uh, uranium is 21 RF per tick. So you can do it like that with two of them to get 42 RF per tick. It's not too bad actually. And here's the uh, current transformer as well. Uh, also we have... Uh, Various different, a couple of, we've got the normal windmill uh, over here. So that's going to be producing around 18. This one's about 37. Uh, and you'll see that if we do thunder, we're going to get, this is going to jump up to about 38. This one, 76. So pretty cool, that. And obviously they do, um, there is a uh, like loss and stuff. So we have a fermenter and squeezer here. Uh, some of the multi blocks. Interestingly, the they both have a very very. They have exactly the same bottom layer. Uh, you can sort of see if you look at the, if you just look at the bottom layer, it's exactly the same. So yeah, the bottom layer is exactly the same. Uh, one of them is is cauldrons. One of them is. Uh, uh, the uh, wooden barrels so yeah very very similar layouts for both the fermenter and the squeezer uh, I've got some apples going in there uh, and you can see see if does it change I think it might change I wasn't looking yeah but yeah put some apples in there put some seeds in here um, gonna get plant oil and ethanol here in the refinery um, we're gonna get the uh, the plant oil with the ethanol being turned into biodiesel and then finally at this point with the um, uh, the bio biodiesel generator this actually outputs to the uh, the high voltage um, so yeah you can uh, well that filled up pretty fast actually but yeah if we put in a another one let's see if I'm not sure if it was actually holding in the uh, Going about a thousand hour per tick. I think it go to about four thousand though. So yeah, it can. It's pretty powerful. This. So obviously, if you've got a good supply of uh, of uh, seeds and fruit, probably of any kind, uh, you know, like harvest craft integration stuff like that, uh, it will all be good. So yeah, just a little uh, look at the power generation of immersive engineering in one ten two.